Wait a minute. Oh. We might... Oh, oh, barnacles? We might live here after all. Oh my god. Hold up. I forgot this land kept on going. Okay. If we could barnacle here too. Barnacle there. Seashells. Crabbies. Okay. Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Place. Don't starve. Shipwreck. We are playing as the bereaved here today because we had to start all over. Our run, our first blind run with Wilson went all the way up to day 35, which is actually really good for a new player, I gotta say. I'm not, I'm not patting myself in the back, but I think I did relatively good, albeit I got that far because a lot of your comments started coming in and, you know, um, all that stuff. So I do appreciate that. Right now, we're doing really, really great as a good startup point. The only thing we're missing right now is a piece of gold to make a science machine, and once we make our science machine, we can start considering where we're going to put our head down and call home here for the uh, foreseeable future anyway. But for the most part, we're doing really, really good because we have a ton of items over here. Ooh, message in the bottle. Christina Aguilera, baby, how you doing? Let me go ahead and eat this here. If you wanna be with me, I'm a genie in the bottle. Uh, uh, this, in this situation, she's basically a message in the bottle. Alrighty, so this is good. You know why this is good? Because that looks to me like maybe Grass Island? Maybe there's a, a swamp place. But what's really cool about this is that at least now I know where there's another piece of land to aim for. So I'm not going to go there right now. That's not really my big concern. Although, sometimes going to one of these X's early on is not too bad because you do find some stuff. But right now what I'm really looking for is just uh, one piece of gold which will completely get us situated, because as you can see, we have a lot of stuff over here stored up already. So the bare essentials are definitely there, it's just a matter of finding gold. And by the way, if we get gold one time, we'll be able to make the shovel. And if we make the shovel, I could come back over here, and we found a ton of gold here, but unfortunately, the magma rocks would only be, um, you know, harvested with a shovel, so we cannot do anything there right now. So, essentially what we're looking for is, um, I feel, I feel like I'm saying essentially a lot right now, aren't I? Yeah, I feel like I am. But what we're looking to do right now is invest. If we find one piece of gold, we'll be able to get a ton more gold afterwards. So that's kind of like our little trade-off at the moment. I don't have any seaweed, do I? We're about to hit like some deep waters over here. No more extra room as well. Tell me there really is an island here. And it's not just another mangrove. <laughs> mangrove. Every time. Now, what does this, um, Abigail's flower do? Abigail's ready to play, but she needs some space. That's probably her twin sister. That they told me so. Oh, that was just seaweed, Falcon! Oh, you, you, you dunce, you. Okay, we're going into deep water now. Which, you know what, might have to be a okay. case. So let's go over here. Let's just hope that we can find an island soon. We're just looking for gold, dog. Like, if we were to actually pick up some gold, er like, right now, soon, ah, oh, we're gonna be in a really good spot. Because I know what I'm doing, and we have so many items already stored up here. Uh, just gold randomly. We have our pickaxe ready to go as well. This is where I don't want to be. Like, looking for an island or looking for a resource early on. Like, this is not how do you want to spend your early time. Your early time is just to pick up all the easy stuff here. But maybe we're coming up on an island here. Oh, we have a... Attack that barrel? Nope, thank you, sir. I'm not going to attack that barrel. What are you, out of your mind? That's gonna probably explode and kill me. Oh, you could keep that barrel to yourself. All right, I think we're getting close to land over here. I hope so too. I really am not liking the fact that we're spending so much time out here looking for gold. Like I know it's required, but I'd rather. Ooh, what is this? What kind of land is this? This is monkey land. Monkeys love it around here. So maybe we found what we're looking for. We're just looking for one gold rock. And it's long. Let's eat that here meanwhile. Oh, here we go. Yes. No, no. Oh, we found lava. Uh, or not lava, but swampland too. This is great because we're going to be able to get the... Yeah. Hold up. It doesn't matter. Get, get out of here, knight. Troll, whatever the fuck you want to call yourself. Um, we have now found swamp, which is great because we could actually even get some papyrus now. I never usually have that early on, which could be pretty useful. Um, albeit a little bit risky on my part. Jeez, there's a ton of flowers here. Good God. Okay. Let's see how we can play this out here, out of curiosity. What if, um, this is not a good island to live at, though, I don't think. I mean, I would have papyrus nearby, I would have some trees. No, I like sandy areas because of barnacles. I would love to find a, a place to call home with barnacles nearby, because the surf and turf is so useful. 
Um, that's a lot of barnacles here, but as you can see, what this is, it's a one-piece island, so there's no other biome that connects to it. I mean, kind of nearby here, yeah, but you'd have to get on your boat to go there, which is no good. You want to be able to be walking distance from a lot of these things, I want to say. So, I mean, we still have to find a really good biome. But I'm not, I'm okay with making a temporary base because we're going to get some gold anyway, and then we know where there's a lot more gold here. So we can still make another science machine down the line. So we'll probably, you know, even make this our temporary base meanwhile. Maybe. We'll see. If I could just avoid Cyclop fish, I think I should be fine. Now, what do I want to drop for this? You know what? For now, let's go ahead and drop you here. Cyclops fish. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. Oh, we might, oh, oh, barnacles, we might live here after all. Oh my god, hold up. I forgot this land kept on going. Okay, if we could barnacle here too. Barnacle there, seashells, crabbies, okay. Not a huge island, but you know what, this is actually kind of similar to what I have off camera. And I'm comfortable with what I have off camera. I like to keep it comfortable. There's a, even a, a wolf here. Not a wolf, but a were, were dude. Oh, a boar. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so excited about this island. I'm over here just stumbling over. This is good. This is some good stuff, man. Okay. We left our ship over there by the shore of the um, monkeys. Now, the only thing I'm going to complain about is that I didn't see any spiders. I would love some spiders just so we have our, our silk harvestable nearby. There might be some more over here up above. Usually where there's like, you know, the this the monkeys, there's usually some spiders as well. I'm gonna go down here a bit more just to map this area out. This is good. I really think this is gonna be our home base. And we have the gold already for the science machine. I'm just gonna map out here a bit more. We have a ooh, another barnacle as well. I will take you. You along with the surf and turfs are gonna be so oh my god. This is <laughs> I think we did it, guys. This is gonna definitely be it. Alrighty, so we have now found what I'm considering to be my island. For a fact. Oh yeah, this is great. This is good stuff. This will be the first time too that I have like a, a nearby swamp for like papyrus farming too. On, on my off-camera one, I usually have to go to another island to get it. But um having it in the same island, really, really good. Now my sanity is going down really, really fast here. I'm not too happy about this. Let me turn this on. Why is that why is that going down like so severely? Is it just e yeah. Might just be the fact that I'm a bit wet as well. That could probably have an issue here. Okay. Uh, we left our dude here. I think... I kind of want the base here because the barnacles are kind of more around here. But then this would be the easier walk to the swamp. And for all I know, if we walk downwards... There's a ton of flint here too. Let this up. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do it here. This is a good enough place, I'm going to say. Yeah, piggies over there too. Not bad. And we should be able to get that seashell, uh, or that sandcastle up and running pretty soon as well. Oh yeah, barnacles, this is it, man. Okay. And then our tree situation, not bad. What we could do is start going around, cutting down these palm trees, picking up the coconut, and start far or start this little uh, coconut or palm tree um, farm around us. So, I think this right here is good because it gives me some space not to randomly pick stuff up. And then we can build around here. This is excellent. Let's go ahead and do our fire pit here. We'll go for the chimney once we get the chance here, but for now, let's start off easy. Alrighty. Structure. I know sandcastle can be made perfect. Uh, I don't have the palm leaves for it or the sand because we do need... Alright, so we need a shovel first. So, let's get our first things... Oh, we should eat. We should definitely eat. Not a fan of eating the limpets straight up. Rather mix them up, but... Yeah. Darkness has returned. Huh. So, for some reason, now that it's dark, she's losing less sanity. So, just... Huh. That's, uh, peculiar. Very peculiar. So, you just like darkness in general, huh? I mean, it did say that earlier, but I just thought it meant that she wouldn't take such a big insanity boost. Well, I guess that's what's happening. Whatever. I'm confused. Science machine! Oh, yeah, we have everything required for it. So, uh, science machine, you can just hang out over here, meanwhile. Not a bad place. Alrighty, so, that's done with. I want to get the Alchemy Umgen as soon as possible as well. Um, the Electrical do that's going to be easy to make because we know where to get some more gold now. So we just need stone and gold. Uh, we're going to need two, right? So, four pieces of gold will get us situated for the Alchemy Machine, which is um, straight up above, right? Oh, no, no, no. 
We'd have to make a raft over here and then go down that way, which is still relatively close by. Let's get our shovel. Now, shovel, 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 shovel. Shovel, 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 shovel. There we go. All right, good. Shovel as well. Let's also get our big backpack. I love knowing what to do. Like, you know what? This game is great because once you figure out what to do, it's so much fun. Like, when you know what to do and aim for, this game is so much fun. Like, I'm honestly glad I picked it up. And I was, at first, like, hesitant about it because I knew I was going to struggle. Because I knew this game has, like, a bunch of meta involved to it. Oh, it's going to be in my base again, aren't you? Well, you know what? Hold up. Let's uh, unequip you here. Unequip. Son of a biscuit. Throw it away. Pick you up. <laughs> ah, the meta! You know what? Even getting rid of a backpack is something that I'm actually quite happy about. Toss it over there. Don't need you anymore. Get on out of here. Alrighty. But yeah, as I was saying, this game is so much fun once you learn it. Once you learn it, it is a goddamn blast. I'm so glad I'm glad I picked it up. And honestly, I wouldn't have learned it if it wasn't for you guys leaving tips as well. I mean, I've gone done some little wiki searching myself, but, you know, a lot of your tips is what kind of led me to that, so... Yeah, I'm, I'm really loving this game. It's actually so much fun. It's ridiculous how much fun it is, actually. Okay, let's go ahead and, um, I'm gonna start probably saving seeds after right now, but right now I just gonna get these, um, eight over here. Okay, so we have the shovel. We could go up there and get some more gold now. However, before we even do that, let's start looking at some other things we can make. We have the backpack, which is great. Um, you know what? I think... Getting some chest early is not a bad idea. Uh, the trees are kind of low here. There's some more trees over on that island. Which is probably the reason why I wanted to make that in my island as opposed to this one. Or not my, my base, anyway. I mean, it's still part of my base, but this is a bit more closer here. Well, that's fine. These cocos, unfortunately, are not ready to be picked. What I'm looking for right now is anything that's ready to be picked so we can just start growing around here. You're, you're good to go. So, I'm going to have to make another one of you pretty soon. So this is not for food purposes, it's just basically to have a nice little tree farm around our area. Uh, hammer? No, not right now. Not right now. Per maybe once we get the um, alchemy machine, I'll make you get the other one. Shovel is already here as well. Let's go ahead and dig this up. Need a lot of that as well. Okay. I love the fact that the swamp is just next to us right there. It's so great. Alrighty. More cocos we're looking for right now. Mmm. No reason not to pick up the seashells as well. Although, I think we could only stack 20, right? Yeah, so we're gonna have to start using another slot for it. Yeah, the tree supply isn't really great on this part of the island. There's a lot more in the other one. So, unfortunately for me, I'm gonna have to go over there to really farm it and then bring all the stuff over here. So, uh, I'm a bit disappointed. Maybe I should have made the other side of this island my, my base. Just so we could actually cut off the monotony here for now. But for now, it does seem like I'm gonna have to go over there and pick up the cocos and plant them over here. There's some here, obviously, but the problem is that we have to wait till they bear some fruit. Otherwise, it seems kind of pointless to chop them down, because we don't really need the wood. We're just looking for the tree farm at the moment. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, let's go over there. Come on, coconuts. Keep growing. Uh, so my base is coming up here. Let's go ahead and pick up some twigs while we're at it. going to need a lot of those for tools. There we go. Cocos. Alright. So, looking at the items that I have right now, we want to get a few chests. We'll maybe... Well, no, we'll get the chest, and then afterwards we'll run up straight up to get the gold. And that's going to be a really great spot already, because if you have the alchemy machine, then you can start basically forming your plans ahead of time, just knowing what to build. We'll go for chim... Actually, the, the, the... I'm not sure how I want to do it in terms of line of importance, but I'm looking for chimney as soon as... Well, actually, maybe not as soon as possible. Maybe the crock pot as soon as possible. A good, nice farmland around me. Go out and find some berry bushes to kind of plant around nearby, too. But now, the only concern I have... ...is we can't plant any berries around here. Because this is Swatma. You can't plant berries in Swatma, so I have to plant them over here. But monkeys are around, and monkeys love to, um... They will actually go and steal your berries, because they actually do pick them up. So that's my big concern with that one. Yeah, I didn't consider that one. I mean, I like the berries as well. They're really useful. They actually give you a nice enough boost that, you know, growing them over time is not really a bad thing. But, um, yeah, I just realized that that's going to be a bit of a problem with the monkeys over there. We'll see how that works out. I might have to just wipe out the monkeys. And just go somewhere else for poop in the future. I like to keep them around just for whenever I need poop on the fly. 
but we might have to go somewhere else for the poop afterwards and just wipe them out and have like a berry farm around them. Oops. Oh, <laughs> what happened there? Press the wrong button completely. And call me crazy, but it seems like there's something over here. No, it's just water. I thought there was like another little small little island over there. Okay. Um, more cocos? No? How many cocos do we have? We have seven. Let me try to pick up a bit more just to get this farm up and running pretty well. Twigs over here. So yeah, this is the part that I was worried about. This is the reason why we failed in the last run, mind you. This, what I'm doing right now, farming, this is the reason why. I did not want to farm when I first started because I didn't know how important it was for one. And number two, I was thinking, man, people are going to get bored if all I'm doing is farming. But let me tell you, if you want to survive, you better get ready to farm. Luckily, I do normally have a lot to talk about over here and just kind of chit-chat at the mouth, so... Hopefully it's not a big deal to you guys that I'm farming as long as I'm over here chit-chatting and hopefully trying to keep you slightly entertained here with my Neanderthal wit. Yes, I said Neanderthal wit. What about it? Get this up and running. Oh, and you know what? Let's start getting um, these branches out of the way. We also need a sapling farm nearby. Grass, yes, we do need that. The only problem with grass right now is that even if I pick it up, I need to... What is it? I need to fertilize it. And since we don't have any rot or any manure just yet, it's going to be a problem to fertilize. So we're going to have to hold off on that here for a second. Now we're getting kind of hungry. Kind of hungry. Um, I guess we'll just have to eat our limpets more than likely. Mm, let's pick up this, this over here too. Yeah, I could try to get some crabs just to eat them meanwhile. Mm, that could be a possibility as well. Well, might have to just eat some limpets, I guess. Seems like we don't have enough time to actually go after the crabs at the moment. How many of these um, branches do we have? Eight. Okay. I want a significant amount of these around me so I don't have to go really far to actually acquire twigs in the future. As long as you have everything around you, you don't need to go anywhere else. That's what I've learned in this game. Alright, so we'll pick this up here. And we can make a hammer to bring down... We could get some- oh, you know, we can make the football helmet really early because we have that pigman around. So we could go over there and break down his house. Or we could just, um, befriend them as well. That's another possibility. Because if he turns into- it's a, if it's some full moon, he will turn into Wolfman. So there is that possibility, too. Do we have a torch on us? We... don't. No torch, really? Surprising. Okay. Just in time. Just in time. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go ahead and um, start eating some of these limpets here, meanwhile. Which is fine, because you know what? We're not going to get any monster meat anytime soon, so we might as well just enjoy these bad boys here. That's going to be enough to kind of fill us up. Limpets are so good, man. I really hope the developers don't nerf limpets and the surf and turf. That's basically my key to survival. Those two items right here, the limpets and the surf and turf. I use those to survive so often. If they remove those suddenly, I'm going to be so upset. I'll be like, you know what, damn it, I'm done playing. You removed the only thing that I know for a fact I can use as a safety net. Um, this is cool. Uh, let me go ahead and put the doubloons down. And we need to make, uh, let's see here. Ba -ba -ba. Do that, two and three. Let's see, where is the chest over here? We have that, alrighty. So let's go ahead and make a few more while we're at it. Uh, one... To daytime should be coming pretty soon. There it is. And we need at least one more piece of wood, I believe, to make the third one. Uh, where is this one? Here it is. So we'll bring this down, and we'll start planting around here pretty soon. And we're going to probably wrap it up here pretty soon as well. As a matter of fact, no, no, I'm going to plant on camera. I was going to say, let me do my planting off camera, but you guys have explicitly stated at Falcon, you want to you want to see the farming. It's a really crucial part of the game, so I'm not going to remove it from this. So... I'm going to wrap it up here, and tomorrow we come back, we will put the farm, all the stuff that we picked up, the trees around us, we'll put the twigs around us, we'll go back up and grab gold, we'll come back and make the alchemy machine. I have so many ideas, I know what to do, it's great. Look forward to a lot of good stuff, I assure you. I will catch you guys next time.